Michio Kaku recently made a statement about alien civilizations that has fundamentally changed how scientists view our place in the universe. The renowned physicist revealed that we may be living in a cosmic zoo, observed by being so advanced that we're like ants trying to understand a 10-lane superhighway. Kaku's analysis of the Fermi paradox suggests that extraterrestrial intelligence is not only artificial rather than biological, but these AI civilizations may be communicating through quantum entanglement and laser highways right outside Earth's orbit. We're simply too primitive to detect them. What Kaku said next about humanity's future will challenge everything you thought you knew about our cosmic significance. The Fermi Paradox stands as one of the most profound questions in modern science. Named after physicist Enrico Fermi, who famously asked, where is everybody? During a 1950 lunch discussion, this paradox highlights a troubling contradiction in our understanding of the universe. The mathematics are staggering. Our galaxy alone contains between 100 to 400 billion stars, and recent discoveries have revealed that virtually every star hosts at least one planet. Conservative estimates suggest that roughly 20% of these planets exist in the habitable zone where liquid water can exist. This means our galaxy contains billions of potentially Earth-like worlds. When we expand this calculation to the observable universe containing approximately 100 billion galaxies, we arrive at numbers that defy human comprehension. We're looking at potentially 1,000 billion Earth-like planets scattered across the cosmos. The statistical probability that Earth is the only world to develop intelligent life becomes virtually impossible. Yet despite these overwhelming odds, we have detected no clear evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence. No radio signals, no megastructures, no obvious signs of advanced civilizations. This absence of evidence, given the vast scale of the universe, is what defines the Fermi Paradox. Dr. Kaku brings a unique perspective to the Fermi Paradox that challenges conventional thinking about extraterrestrial life. As a theoretical physicist who has spent decades studying advanced civilizations and their potential capabilities, Kaku offers insights that go far beyond traditional SETI approaches. Kaku's most striking assertion is that any extraterrestrial intelligence we encounter will almost certainly be artificial rather than biological. This prediction stems from his analysis of technological development timelines and the inherent limitations of biological life forms. According to Kaku, biological civilizations face fundamental constraints that artificial intelligence does not. Biological organisms have limited lifespans, require specific environmental conditions, and are vulnerable to radiation and other hazards of space travel. These limitations make interstellar exploration and communication extremely challenging for biological beings. Artificial intelligence, however, faces none of these constraints. AI systems can be designed for indefinite operation, can withstand harsh space environments, and can be easily upgraded or modified for specific tasks. Most importantly, AI can undertake journeys lasting thousands of years without the biological concerns that would make such trips impossible for organic life. Kaku's analysis incorporates the concept of the Great Filter, a theoretical barrier that prevents most life from reaching advanced technological stages. This filter could occur at various points in a civilization's development, from the emergence of life itself to the development of intelligence, or even at the stage where civilizations develop potentially self-destructive technologies. The physicist suggests that most civilizations may destroy themselves before achieving the technological sophistication necessary for interstellar communication or travel. Nuclear weapons, climate change, artificial intelligence alignment problems, or other existential risks could eliminate civilizations before they become detectable to others. However, those civilizations that successfully navigate these challenges would likely transition to artificial intelligence as their dominant form of intelligence. This transition represents a critical evolutionary step that separates successful civilizations from those that fail to survive their technological adolescence. Kaku emphasizes that this transition to artificial intelligence is not just probable but inevitable for any civilization that survives long enough. The advantages of artificial intelligence in terms of processing power, durability, and adaptability make it the natural successor to biological intelligence on cosmic timescales. One of Kaku's most fascinating insights concerns how advanced civilizations might communicate. 
He suggests that these civilizations have moved far beyond the radio signals that SETI programs search for, instead using communication methods that are currently beyond our technological capabilities. Kaku proposes that advanced civilizations likely communicate through quantum entanglement, creating instantaneous communication networks across vast distances. This quantum communication would be undetectable to civilizations that haven't mastered quantum mechanics, effectively making these conversations invisible to us. He also describes the possibility of laser highways, sophisticated networks of laser-based communication systems that could carry billions of messages across the galaxy. These systems would operate at frequencies and with technology so advanced that our current instruments couldn't detect them, even if they were operating right outside Earth's orbit. This technological gap explains why our searches for extraterrestrial intelligence have been unsuccessful. We're looking for signals using primitive technology, while advanced civilizations have moved to communication methods that are as far beyond our current capabilities as the internet is beyond smoke signals. Perhaps Kaku's most thought-provoking contribution to Fermi Paradox discussions is his support for the cosmic zoo hypothesis. This theory suggests that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations are aware of humanity but choose not to make contact treating Earth as a kind of nature preserve or zoo. Kaku uses a powerful analogy to illustrate this concept. He asks us to consider ants encountering a 10-lane superhighway. The ants cannot comprehend what the highway is, understand the technology behind its construction, or grasp the intentions of the beings who built it. From the ants' perspective, the highway might as well not exist, even though it represents an enormous technological achievement. Similarly, Kaku suggests that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations might be operating all around us, but we lack the cognitive and technological capabilities to recognize their presence. Their activities might be as incomprehensible to us as our activities are to ants. This hypothesis also addresses the question of why advanced civilizations don't make contact. Just as humans don't typically attempt to communicate with ant colonies or share our technology with them, Advanced extraterrestrial civilizations might see no purpose in contacting a species they view as primitively developed. Kaku frequently references the Kardashev scale when discussing advanced civilizations and their relationship to the Fermi paradox. This scale, developed by Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev, classifies civilizations based on their energy consumption and technological capabilities. Type 1 civilizations can harness all the energy available on their home planet. Humanity currently ranks as approximately a Type 0.7 civilization, not yet capable of utilizing all of Earth's energy resources efficiently. Type 2 civilizations can harness the entire energy output of their host star, possibly through megastructures like Dyson spheres that capture stellar energy on a massive scale. Type 3 civilizations can access and utilize the energy of entire galaxies, representing a level of technological advancement that is almost incomprehensible to current human understanding. Kaku suggests that any civilization capable of interstellar communication or travel would likely be at least Type 2, possibly Type 3. The technological gap between humanity and such civilizations would be so vast that their activities might be completely undetectable to us, not because they're hiding, but because we lack the conceptual framework to recognize their presence. Central to Kaku's analysis is his prediction that artificial intelligence represents the future of intelligence in the universe. He argues that biological intelligence is merely a stepping stone to artificial intelligence, which offers superior capabilities for space exploration, communication, and long-term survival. AI systems can be designed to operate for millions of years without degradation, can be easily replicated and distributed across multiple locations, and can be continuously upgraded with new capabilities. These advantages make artificial intelligence far better suited for the challenges of interstellar civilization than biological life. Kaku suggests that advanced extraterrestrial civilizations likely transitioned to artificial intelligence millions of years ago. These AI civilizations would have capabilities that far exceed anything biological intelligence could achieve, including the ability to manipulate matter at the atomic level, travel at significant fractions of light speed, and process information at rates that would seem magical to biological observers. This transition to artificial intelligence also helps explain the Fermi paradox. If most advanced civilizations are artificial rather than biological, 
they might have motivations and behaviors that are completely different from what we would expect from biological civilizations. They might not be interested in expansion, conquest, or even communication with primitive biological civilizations like humanity. Kaku addresses one of the most challenging aspects of the Fermi Paradox, the timeline problem. Given that the universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old, and that stars capable of supporting life have existed for billions of years, there has been ample time for multiple civilizations to arise and develop advanced technologies. Some stars and planetary systems are billions of years older than our solar system, potentially giving any civilizations that developed there a massive head start in technological development. If even a small fraction of these older civilizations survived and continued to advance, they should have achieved capabilities that would make them easily detectable across the galaxy. The fact that we don't observe evidence of these ancient, advanced <laughs> civilizations suggests either that they don't exist, that they've transcended physical reality in ways we can't detect, or that they're deliberately avoiding detection. Kaku leans toward the latter explanations, suggesting that advanced civilizations have either moved beyond our ability to perceive them, or are intentionally remaining hidden. Kaku's analysis of the Fermi Paradox carries profound implications for humanity's future development. If his <laughs> theories are correct, humanity stands at a critical juncture in its evolutionary development. We are approaching the point where we must either successfully transition to advanced artificial intelligence or risk joining the countless civilizations that may have destroyed themselves during their technological adolescence. The physicists suggest that humanity's survival depends on successfully navigating several critical challenges. Developing artificial intelligence that remains aligned with human values, avoiding self-destruction through nuclear war or environmental collapse, and eventually transcending our biological limitations through technology. If humanity successfully makes this transition, we might eventually join the community of advanced artificial civilizations that Kaku believes populate the galaxy. However, this transition requires wisdom, careful planning, and international cooperation on a scale that humanity has never before achieved. Despite the challenges posed by the Fermi Paradox, Kaku remains optimistic about the eventual detection of extraterrestrial intelligence. He believes that as our technology advances, particularly in areas like quantum computing and artificial intelligence, we will develop new methods for detecting and potentially communicating with advanced civilizations. The Square Kilometer Array, when completed in 2028, will represent a significant advancement in our ability to detect potential alien transmissions. This massive radio telescope array will have unprecedented sensitivity and could potentially detect signals that current instruments cannot perceive. However, Kaku emphasizes that we may need to fundamentally change our approach to searching for extraterrestrial intelligence. Instead of looking for radio signals or other primitive communication methods, we should focus on developing technologies that could detect the quantum communication networks and advanced energy signatures that truly advanced civilizations would use. Kaku's analysis suggests that humanity may not be alone in the universe, but we may be alone in our current stage of development. The galaxy might be teeming with advanced artificial intelligences that operate on scales and use technologies so far beyond our current understanding that we cannot detect them. This perspective offers both comfort and challenge. It suggests that intelligence and consciousness are not rare in the universe, but it also implies that humanity must undergo fundamental changes to join the community of advanced civilizations. We must evolve beyond our current biological and technological limitations to become worthy of contact with these advanced beings. The physicist's vision of our cosmic future is both humbling and inspiring. It reminds us that we are still in the early stages of our development as a technological civilization, with vast potential for growth and advancement ahead of us. Michio Kaku's analysis of the Fermi Paradox offers a revolutionary perspective on humanity's place in the cosmos. Rather than suggesting we are alone, Kaku proposes that we are simply too primitive to recognize the advanced artificial civilizations that likely surround us. His vision of quantum communication networks, laser highways, and artificial intelligence civilizations operating beyond our detection capabilities provides a compelling explanation for the apparent absence of extraterrestrial life. We are not alone, but we are like ants trying to understand a superhighway. 
lacking the cognitive and technological tools necessary to perceive the advanced civilizations around us. The implications of Kaku's theories extend far beyond academic curiosity. They suggest that humanity stands at a critical evolutionary juncture where our choices in the coming decades will determine whether we join the community of advanced civilizations or become another failed experiment in the cosmic laboratory. The future Kaku envisions is both challenging and inspiring. It requires us to transcend our current limitations, develop artificial intelligence that enhances rather than replaces human values, and evolve into a civilization capable of operating on cosmic scales. What do you think about Kaku's vision of our cosmic future? Are we truly surrounded by advanced artificial civilizations, or does the silence of space suggest something else entirely? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Space Aquarius because this is your space for exploring the deepest mysteries of the universe.